how to work transdisciplinarity in the construction of networks. Boaventura de Souza suggests the use of non-extractive methodologies to strengthen dialogue. Okay, so in considering this question, the first thing I would like to emphasize is the importance of listening and especially listening to local leadership. Uh, this becomes even more important as a network grows larger because often I think there is the experience of local groups in having their participation reflected in photo ops or in um, online reports. But in reality, that is a limitation of their participation and they haven't received um, a real opportunity to speak their minds to the network that is seeking to involve them. And I think that when you see large networks using these photo ops, using the faces um, of people at the local level, but not sincerely involving them, that is a form of extraction. And so how do you get around this? And we highlighted three types of knowledge, one being scientific, the other being traditional ecological, and the third being experiential. And I think that when a network decides what types of knowledge they will include um, in their materials, uh, in their work, and what kind of metrics they will use to evaluate the success of their work, they need to focus on the types of knowledge and metrics that are most important to um, local groups. An example of this network in East Africa is that they found that their operations were not producing the type of knowledge that could appear in scientific publications. But they were producing knowledge and interacting with knowledge emerging from local experiences. And so they continued to feel that emphasizing that local experiential knowledge was most important for that network. And the final point I would like to make is that, and I think this is one of the most important things we can do in fighting back against the extraction of knowledge, is that we need to work together, together to create platforms for common pool knowledge. Um, common pool knowledge that is accessible and free for local groups and international groups, sometimes connected by virtual networks, um, so that they can access this knowledge and use it as, as needed. And I think that is very important for avoiding uh, the extraction of knowledge that happens um, across academia, uh, across governments, and across uh, the NGO world as well.